So now we'll have a quick look at the female reproductive system. Here we can see we've removed most all of the abdominal contents. Here we can see the two ovaries. Notice that the ovarian artery is very torturous. It's going to be coming off the terminal part of the aorta, right about the same area that we'll see our caudal mesenteric artery as well as just before our, our external iliac arteries come off. Okay, So the mesentery that is suspending all of this, we have the mesovarium and the mesometrium which suspends the uterus. Okay, On that we see a free edge here. That free edge is the round ligament of the uterus. Let's see if we can see it on the other side here. Here we can see it nicely over here. So that's the round ligament of the uterus. Notice here that the uterine horns are very coil shaped like that of a ram horn. Okay, Just like what we see in the cow. And then we have the body of the uterus and then we have the urinary bladder here kind of in our way with its lateral ligaments. But if we come down here, we have opened up the vagina. Right about in here is going to be the cervix. And then right in here we should have our external urethral orifice making this our vestibule back here. And then we see in our vestibule, it's very much smaller than what we saw in the dog. We see the fossa, the clitoris there, and the clitoris is within that. And so then on each side here we have the labia, or the, the lips of the vulva. Okay. In this specimen here, we had a very pregnant uterus. And in fact, it had pushed the rumen, so it was pushing right up. It was kind of crammed in this little space, pressing against the diaphragm. So you can see during pregnancy, it's going to be very hard for these animals to breathe. Okay, So we've opened up the uterus. You can see the placenta in here. Okay, So these are the fetal membranes. And with the ruminant, in the uterus there are structures called caruncles. And the fetal membranes have a structure called the cotyledon that kind of sits onto that caruncle. And each of these little units then is called a placentome. Okay. So these are cotyledonary type of placenta. Whereas in dogs and cats they have a zone around the middle, so they're zonary. And in horses, the attachment of the placenta to the endometrium of the uterus is very diffuse. Okay, So here we can see the ovary. And there is what they refer to as a ovarian bursa, but it's not as complete as what we see in the dog. And let's see if we can find here that here's the oviduct within the mesosalpinx, oviduct going to the uterine horn. So this would be the proper ligament of the ovary. Okay. So the horns of the uterus are generally kind of ram horn in shape in the ungulate. So we've 
open up the uterus and we can see here we're going down now through the cervix I don't think the cervix is quite opened up and then we've got the the external urethral orifice and we're going to have a little spot down below that urethra called the suburethral diverticulum okay so it kind of stops right there but if I come up above then I'm in the urethra and so that makes this the vestibule here and here we have the clitoris and the clitoral fossa and we have our labia of the vulva okay let me come to another one now okay so here's another this was also a pregnant uterus but this one very nicely shows the blood circulation we can see here the internal iliac artery giving off this structure which is going into the lateral ligaments of the bladder so we have the lateral ligaments of the bladder here and so this structure here is going to be the umbilical artery and coming off that umbilical artery is going to be the main supply to the uterus the uterine artery now we're also going to have a uterine branch coming off the ovarian as well as a uterine branch coming off the vaginal okay so we are continuing now as the internal iliac remember that internal iliac doesn't change its names to internal pudendal until it gives off the the caudal gluteal okay and this specimen the vaginal is not really good here so I'll come back over here because I know it is on this one so here we go so here's our internal iliac coming across and right here it's giving off the vaginal and so whereas in the dog and in the horse we have a short internal iliac because the caudal gluteal comes off early and a very long internal pudendal here we have a very long internal iliac and it's not until the caudal gluteal comes off which is right here see there's that caudal gluteal going through that lesser ischiatic foramen so this is the internal pudendal now here so our vaginal or our prostatic in the male is going to be coming off the internal iliac and so there we have our internal pudendal and then going out through the lesser ischiatic foramen is the caudal gluteal okay so let me come over here to this specimen again because I want to show you on this one I have opened up the cervix here and there's some material in that cervix that is probably a thick mucus that was the cervical plug so the cervix makes this thick mucus during pregnancy to plug up the cervix so no bacteria get up in there okay we can also see here the developing mammary gland okay so the goat has two teeth and there's one teat canal per teat it's just like what we see in the bovine okay so I think that's all I've got to show you